39251 Franklin Street in Ponchatoula, Ponchatoula Trace Subdivision. We are at a house at the end of the street. You're gonna see there is nothing but green space to the left. You'll see behind and over here, you see we're at the edge of the street. Now, interesting thing about this property, this is one of the first homes in the neighborhood before it was a neighborhood. So you're not paying any HOA dues, which is great. Now, this house is four bedrooms, four full bathrooms. And that includes, besides the master suite, and, and includes two other private suites and about 2,700 square feet of living space plus a garage and this nice front porch. Let's go check out the inside. So here we are on the inside. A couple things to note on this property. This is the original owner, right? And there are some things, this house is gonna need some TLC in some areas. I'll point it out as we go. Uh, for right now, we're in the main living room, vaulted ceiling. And you see that open kitchen, how that lines up. Formal dining room, and back to the front door. So first thing you might see is that you're gonna to wanna to paint. Now we do have laminate floors pretty much throughout the house. There's one spot with some old carpet going up the stairs, but some of the floors are worn in place. You can see you're missing some uh, transitions and thresholds that need to be addressed. So right now we're talking about carpet and paint, and that's most of it. You have a beautiful kitchen. Nice thick slab granite, undermount sink, stainless appliances. And that's natural gas. Here's a breakfast area. And there's a great sunroom right here as well. Now this also has an entrance to the master suite. Uh, but you can see in this particular sunroom, there are some missing tiles. There was just, it seems like it was a poor mud job or whatever it was for the tile. So that'll have to be relayed, redone, part of the flooring. But for, for the value, the square footage that you're getting, the location that you're getting, this is the fabulous house. It really is. We're going to go that way where we have two bedrooms and, ba and bathrooms. And then on the other side, you have two more bedrooms and bathrooms. So it's a split floor plan. All right, so bedroom number one, closet. You can see the floor, tray ceiling. And here's our first, this would be like our first private suite. Not the master, but the private suite. And it has, it has the Toto toilet. So kind of like your bidet feature. You'll see a couple of those throughout the house. Right, tile surround. The master bedroom's next. So here we are coming to the master. So as we are here at the living room, okay, we have like a little buffer zone, which I love that coming to the master because it just adds that extra level of privacy. Again, larger, larger room, obviously larger tray ceiling, laminate floors again. And here's a really nice spacious bathroom. And the granite comes through. You have the jetted tub. And this, this facade needs to be put back in place. Separate shower. And this is a linen closet. And right here is walk-in. And then also, as I mentioned earlier, you have your own access to the sunroom area, which is cool. And that's back to the, to the breakfast area that we saw. And then right there is the, is the living room. And one thing I'm just going to point out, because when you come see it, you're going to see it. That is, there's a new roof over this part of the house. So that's an old leak, just FYI. Been fixed on the outside, not leaking. Just hasn't been fixed on the inside. Like I said, this is a value property. It's an opportunity for somebody to gain some instant equity with some floors, some paint. 
and just some other minor cosmetic touches because of the size, the livability, the location. It's a great house. So now we're on the other side of the house. Giant laundry room. Folding table. Like, I have never met anybody who doesn't like a folding table in the laundry room. Notice gas dryer. And then here's the garage. Please, you know, there's storage going on in here. But this, it's a pretty big garage. It's about 21, almost 22 feet. And the other dimension is 22 feet. So you do have a very spacious garage. And then we're going to jump onto these other two bedrooms here. So fourth, sorry, third full bathroom. Granite again, nice clean setup. Bedroom number three. This is looking onto the backyard. And again, looking on the green space. And bedroom number four. The house does have a tankless hot water heater, so infinite hot water. And this is the fourth bathroom. When you have four full bathrooms, you're gonna need a lot of hot water and you've got it. Granted again. We were done. We are in the bonus room. Game room, office, whatever you want it to be. This is, this is, this is money right here. Love it. It's huge. Throw the kids up here if you have kids, or like I said, make it an office. And then, I've never met anybody who doesn't like a folding table in the laundry room, as I said. And I've never met anybody who doesn't like a walk-in attic as opposed to the pull-down stairs. Can I get an amen on that, please? Walk-in attic, and then spray foam insulation. Keeps it cool in the summer. Keeps your energy bills super low. Uh, really a nice feature to the house. All right, so we just came out one of the back doors. And you can see this is the backyard. There's woods beyond. Nice and private. And then one other just feature to point out, which I always like. It's hardy plank siding. There's a, that's a little knob, right? That's a gas jet right there. So outdoor barbecue. There's your tankless hot water heater, by the way. And you have the driveway here, extra wide, right? As it fans out, because there's the garage. And then if you have a boat, an RV, you have all this real estate left in your yard to, to park it, to put a fence around, whatever you like. So. If you have the toys and you're looking for parking, this is this is the spot for you. So, great house, four bedrooms, four baths, 2,700 square feet of living space plus. So if you have an agent, let them know you wanna see it. And if you don't have an agent, let us know you wanna see it. We are happy to show it to you. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, bye-bye.